guess what we're gonna talk about today? You guessed it, Pokemon. So as I was browsing the interwebs, I came across some interesting Pokemon stuff, you know, like some news and some stuff that people have shared on social media. And originally I wanted to make like a video of each thing, like one whole video. But I'm like, you know what, like it'll be like too short of a video. So I made kind of like a small compilation of like three things, it's not that many, uh, interesting Pokemon stuff I came across. And today I'm gonna share that stuff with you guys because you know, it's probably stuff you guys haven't seen before, you probably have have seen it before but it's just it's just interesting so let's start with the first one the first one is from a reddit user i forgot his name i lost the post i tried looking for the post on google i tried searching it i tried image searching it but i couldn't find anything and the only reason i still have the image is because i took a screenshot of it because i wanted to make a video about it but i completely forgot his username so i can't really give him any credit my bad but anyway so this reddit user with no name pretty much what he did is he customized his switch his Nintendo switch to look like a gold a Pokemon gold and silver special edition which here is the image and it looks really freaking sweet like it is not an official Nintendo product but the Reddit user he customized it himself and this is how it looks like and honestly man when you look at this this looks really badass like something that if Nintendo made it official it is something that was sell right away gets sold out everybody and their mom is gonna buy that you know by looking at this like that's just badass but it is not an official Nintendo product it is just something that a reddit user customized himself and honestly man it came out like it's just so it's awesome it's perfect and it looks like it took inspiration from the Pokemon let's go Pikachu and Eevee limited edition Nintendo switch you know they look very similar but as you can see the Pokemon gold and silver looks way better man like it, it, it's just really badass I mean the Pokemon let's go Pikachu and Eevee edition that one looks really cool too but I, I don't know just I guess the colors of gold and silver it's just I don't know like that, that's something I want that's something I would buy you know um but it's not official like I said it's not official it's just something that some reddit user uh, customized by himself I know like if you guys out there wanted like the best chance of you guys getting one like this like the gold and silver special edition is if you contact the reddit user and ask him to make you one but I don't have his username but if I do find it if I find his username I'll make sure to link it in the description and maybe you can hit him up and be like hey listen bro customize my switch for me and I'll give you like I don't know I'll give you a bank man I'll give you 500 bucks or something I don't know but anyway it's a it's a really cool little thing to look at and also there's some fan art that people shared on Twitter about uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver like the Joy-Cons like customized Joy-Cons to fit Gold and Silver and this is how they look like and yeah the Joy-Cons here look very similar to like the, the Nintendo Switch I just showed you but the only difference here is that it has ho and Lugia on the bottom of the Joy-Con. So I mean, the Joy-Cons here look really badass, and I think these Joy-Cons would fit perfectly with the um, the Switch that that one Reddit user customized. So the Joy-Cons here, the artwork here was created by um, another Reddit user, a different Reddit user, and his username is Call Me Captain America. So there you go. I mean, there's that first thing I wanted to share with you guys: a Pokemon Gold and Silver concept Switch and a Pokemon Gold and Silver concept joy cons which look really really sweet all right so the next thing i want to share with you guys is some news in taiwan so earlier in the summer taiwan teamed up with pokemon i think specifically niantic yeah pokemon go and so they teamed up with pokemon go the company Ni niantic niantic whatever and pretty much if you're in taiwan and you're living there um when you go to the subway station you have a card and before you get on the subway you scan your card Right? So pretty much what Pokemon Go Niantic did in Taiwan is instead of using like cards, like people are living in Taiwan, instead of using a card to scan and get into the subway, um, they can order or buy a Pokeball, like a Pokemon Go Pokeball, and use the Pokeball instead of a card, instead of using a card, use a Pokeball to scan the subway machine and go to your subway train or whatever. So this is how they look like, and they look really sweet. And you know, you could have that guy like hanging on your belt or your pocket or something. You just bust it out, a little Pokeball beep and go on your train and go on your merry way you know it's really cool like like when you look at this device it's 
it's really sweet and it's just I guess it's really awesome to see like Pokemon being used in the real world you know like there are Pokeballs instead of like an actual card <laughs> like imagine like going to like a store like a gas station or something instead of paying with like a debit card or something like instead of sticking your chip in to the credit card reader you have like a little Pokeball that you stick in there <laughs> that would be, be really interesting really nerdy but really interesting and cool but still nerdy but I, I like the idea man I think it's it's a cool idea. So anyway, they did that in Taiwan. And if you guys want to read the article, I'll link it in the description, of course. All right, so the last thing I want to share with you guys is something I found extremely interesting. But for some reason, the guy that posted it, um, he did not get that many likes, upvotes, or retweets. Like, looking at his Twitter account, he only got 14 retweets, which is kind of mind-blowing because I found this really interesting. So this guy, um, his name is Jamie Grossman. Um, on Twitter, his tag is uh, Jamie L L I R T T G, something like that. So anyway, he posted on Reddit and Twitter about Detective Pikachu, the movie Detective Pikachu. And pretty much what Jamie said is that he watched the movie, he really enjoyed the movie, but he noticed something about the movie. He noticed that the locations in the movie looked very, very, very familiar. And guess what? Jamie actually works near the area where Pokemon Detective Pikachu was filmed. So what Jamie did is he went out and filmed various locations of the movie and he put like a side-by-side -side comparison of the movie and the real life location and seeing the side by side comparisons is like very interesting because you can see like how much the movie was edited so this Jamie guy you know he lives in that area where Pokemon Detective Pikachu was filmed and he made that side by side comparison so this is the video that he made and as you can see the filming locations were in London and it starts off you know with uh, what he says it's a uh, Primrose Street and you can see like the difference between um, Detective Pikachu and the street and there's Broadcade Tower and you know I've never been to these places so I've never heard of them and I'm not very familiar with them but maybe some of you out there are and you know it's just really sweet to see like the comparisons between like Pokemon and in the real world and see how much it was edited so right here is the exchange square also Brocky and also like that random bench right there where the main character was sitting which it was normally not there and it was just added for the movie and right here again we have a different view of the exchange square really really cool man you know that's a really cool shot right there so anyway that right there like I found it very interesting and I like how he went out and filmed the locations and then put the video together and I'm very surprised that he didn't get that much um I guess attention or like that many likes upvotes or whatever or retweets like I'm very surprised because that's actually like a it's just something really neat to look at even if it's just a movie in general just seeing like side-by-side -side comparisons I think it's really neat so if you guys want to check out his post you know and want to go give him some love maybe go retweet his post I'll leave his Twitter handle in the description of course so you guys can go check it out yourselves but yeah um that's all I wanted to share with you guys let me know what you think like did you find this video somewhat interesting like it's just random Pokemon stuff I came across on the interwebs and just something I found you know something that caught my attention you know things that caught my attention relating to Pokemon and let me know did you enjoy the video do you want to see more videos like this you know drop a comment and if you did enjoy the video drop a like if you didn't enjoy it drop a dislike <laughs> whatever man but anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one right peace out